Quick hand, the keys! Here, go! I'm trying, but it won't start! Come on, quick pony is right behind us! Come on! Let's go, get out of here! I thought I told you to stay put. What are you playing at? But Papa, you were gone for ages. Matteo, I don't care. You could have been killed. You could have killed both you and George. But I was just trying to... Just trying to kill yourself? Maximus? George, please. Papa. Listen up. This isn't the same world we used to once live in, Matteo. This isn't a video game anymore. This is real life. I just don't want to... Stop arguing back! I am so disappointed in you right now. I'm sorry, Papa. You will be when we are all dead. Ah, great. We have now led them back here. They know where we are. But the door is locked. They can't get in. That's not the point. How much longer will they be here? You think they are just going to leave us alone? I'm sure there is something we can do. Hmm? What's your name? Can I sit with you? I won't hurt you. Where are your parents? I understand. I lost my family too. How? Well, this was way before the infection. My parents got taken away from me by the police and I never saw them again. Why did they get taken from you? I actually never got to know the reason why. But I had a little brother, around your age. He just disappeared one day. Where did he go? Well, I can only imagine he grew sad that his parents had gone and he went looking for them. I'm sure he is out there somewhere. I hope so. Phew, well, now the question is, where do we go from here? You'll never believe what I saw back there. What was it? The boy! The boy I went to try and find in that house! He's alive! How did you see him? On the CCTV, he was at Lucella Gallery being chased by an infected. So the boy is running around in the gallery right now? I have no idea where he is right now, but all I do know is that he is alive. Well, he could be anywhere now. Yeah, but he must be so scared. Well, if you want to try and find him, Chief, I am completely down to try and help if that's what you want to do. I got your back, even if it is dangerous. I just know he's alive out there. Could you imagine your own child running around in an empty city with no idea of survival? I get what you mean, Ant. So, are you with me? Shall we find this boy? We are a team now. Let's do it. Touché. Hey, why don't we try and find somewhere a little bit more safer than where we are right now? Where would we go? I don't know, but we can't stay here forever. Come on, let's go and find safety. Okay. Matteo, George, we have to get out of here now. I don't think we're going to be able to get past them. I have an idea. Go on. I know it sounds risky, but what if we open the door, let them in, and we use the arsenal that we have? So you're saying we just open the door and let them in and we shoot them as they enter? Well, do you have a better idea? I can't believe I am listening to a child, but I have to agree with you. I think it's our only chance. Papa, you're going to have to put your trust in me here. You're not going to be able to do this all alone. Matteo, no. Papa, it's time to trust me. What happens if I'm all alone like you said? What would I do then? I guess you're right. So are we doing this? <sighs> Mateo, pick up a gun. Say, Ant, I think the car is running out of fuel. 
We are so close to the gallery, though. I think we can make it there, just. I can see it, it's right there, but it's surrounded by infected. Okay, and get ready to jump out of the car and run to the entrance. The car is out of gas now. Right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, run! Phew, that was a close call, partner. Now, let's go and see if we can find the boy. You get searching, I'll make a poster of the boy's description just in case he sees it and knows that someone is looking for him. Okay, Mateo, stand here right by my side. You stay out of harm's way, okay? Papa, just trust me. I trust you, Mateo. I know you got this. Okay, when I say go, you open the door and run out of the way. Is that clear? Gotcha, I'll try my best. That's all we can do. I'm ready, Papa. I know we can do this. Right, George, are you ready? I'm ready, Maximus. Matteo, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, Papa. Okay, ready? Go, George! Hey, Doggy, do you hear that? Yeah, sorry, that was me. Spicy burrito last night. Ew. Good job, guys. We did it. What's your name? I'm Tigri, and you are? I'm Willow. I like that name. This place looks super cool. What is it? Well, it looks as though it used to be some kind of oil factory. But what if there's infected people inside? Tigri, believe me, I may seem soft now, but I can kick some... Whoa, 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 Willow! You wasn't going to say... Me? Oh no, I would never say ass. That one doesn't count. And it does though. But it doesn't count. Oh, but it does. But you, you could have just said butt, but that doesn't seem so kick-ass, you know what I mean? You said it again. Well, I'm not going to say kick butt, am I? Are we just going to stand here talking about butts? I think it's time we go inside. You did say a naughty word though. I did not. Papa, are you okay? Mateo, my leg has been scratched. What are we going to do? Well, my dad used to watch these crazy zombie movies. Hmm? All I'm going to say is we need to stop the infection from reaching your heart, Maximus. And how are we going to do that, George? You're thinking of cutting off my leg? What? But he will only have one leg left. Well, what's best? Your papa only having one leg left and surviving or becoming infected? I can't believe we're about to cut off my leg. Doggy, it doesn't seem as though the boy is here. This boy has a real knack of slipping under our noses, doesn't he? I just don't see how he can keep getting away like this. So what do we know about the infection so far, Ant? Well, I think the main symptoms are that the infected are not talking, sweating profusely, and dilated pupils. I mean, this is just all so crazy. Oh, I agree, but we just have to roll with it now. Try and keep ourselves out of bother and have each other's backs a little bit more than what Poli had ours. Yes, exactly. We just got to try and find the boy and get out of Lucella. That is exactly what we've got to do. But the thing is, we know there are more survivors out there because someone called to mention about this George boy. Ah, yes, the mysterious caller. Almost as if he didn't want to be known, right? Well, if they don't want to be known and they don't want to be saved, I won't waste my time. Very true. Just the boy we need to find who must be curled up in a corner somewhere. All right, Maximus, you're gonna have to stay still, as still as you can while we slice your leg off. Oh, Papa, please try and stay still. I am going to try, but we will need to try and stop losing the blood as quick as possible. Okay, well, here we go. It's now or never. Stay still, I'm going to try and do it in one swipe. Just do it quickly. Go, George. Oh, 
All right, Tigree. You take a sleep right here for the night and I will keep guard. Aren't you going to sleep, Willow? I'm just going to stay away just this night to make sure that we are safe. Okay, but Willow, I have a question. Sure, Tigree. What's up? Why are you so strong? Well, I just don't like being messed with anymore. Ever since you lost your family? You would be correct. I just don't have much to live for anymore. Then why are you still going? One word. Hope. Hope to see your family again one day? Yes. And my brother. I'm sure you'll get to see them again one day. That's of course if they manage to avoid this infection, of course. Yeah, I think they would have done very well to have avoided that. It's such a shame. But I tell myself to have hope. If I don't have hope, my life is worthless. I'm hoping for you. Say, Tigri, in the morning, we can take a stroll down by the river. Does that sound good? Sure does. Perfect. Well, you grab some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Willow. Good night, Tigri. Well, we have put up all our signs. I don't think there is much else to do here. Shall we move on with the search? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm pretty sure we are not going to find him here, are we? Nope. You have searched the entire building and no sight of the boy. Well, where do we go next? If you was a young boy running from a zombie apocalypse, where would you go? Well, that is a good question. I know the forest is where all the kids like to hang out. Maybe he went there to get away from civilization. That's such a good point. We can only try. That's all we can do. Let's go. Wait, but how are we going to get there? We have no gas. <laughs> I hope you like to run. I can sure give it a go. Wrap it up! Try and stay quiet, Papa. You might draw some attention. It's kind of hard right now when my leg is on the floor. We have to think of something to try and help the pain. Surely Lucella Hospital should have some pain relief. But that's where this whole infection began. That place could be littered with infected. And if we don't do something, the pain may end up becoming too much for you to bear. We have to do this, Papa, to save your life. I feel like I have no control right now. I just don't want to lose you as well as your mother. I have George though. George is a very clever guy. Gee, thanks. Okay, you can both go, but I want you to both be extremely careful. Watch each other's backs and don't trust anyone. We got this, Papa. How much further to go, doggy? We are almost there. The forest is just around the corner. Thank Goodness, my legs uh, feel like jelly right now. Hey, good morning, Tigree. Did you sleep well? I sure did. Thank you for keeping lookout. Did you manage to get any sleep at all? 
Very small amounts, but I kept getting nightmares and waking up. Nightmares? What kind of nightmares? Oh, you know, just... Just what, Willow? Just falling out of a plane, you know, silly things like that. Those nightmares are the worst, where you're falling and you forget to breathe so you have to catch your breath. Yeah, tell me about it. So are we going to take this stroll by the river? Sure, Tigery. We will go to the river that nobody goes to, so hopefully we will be free of the infected. Perfect. It's a lovely day out there as well. Psst. Right, George, we have to try and find some pain relief and get out of here as quickly as possible. It's almost certain we are going to have the infected in here, George. Exactly. We don't want to use our guns unless we have to. Good point. That will draw a lot of attention. Are you okay? I'm okay, George. Looks as though someone has been here and set up traps for the infected. So someone has been here since. Quite clever, I suppose. But I guess they didn't think about the survivors, like us. Silliness. Well, I have no idea how we are going to find these pain relief pills. Top floor, turn left, first door on the right, thank you, mate. It's him. X, where are you? How can you see me? I can't tell you that right now. Who are you? Why are you stalking me? I would leave if I was you. You have an infected kind down the south staircase. Come on, George. Let's just get out of here. I just don't get why he is trying to help me, but he is so secretive on who he is. George, shh. The infected. Let's get moving. It has to be here somewhere. Find anything. That's because you haven't checked the cupboard on your right. Ed, will you get lost? I don't need your help, okay? Uh, George, we seem to have attracted a bit of a crowd. Ed, what do we do now? You just told me to get lost. Well, I could really do with your creepy knowledge right about now. Oh, stop. That's just stuff we've got to do. I think you need guys some time to get out of there. Thanks, X. Hey, don't say thank you to him. I heard that. Come on, let's just get out of here. Get back to my papa. You know, Tigri, you really do remind me of my little brother. I do? Well, I guess that's nice. It sure is. Wait, Willow, you're wearing the same clothes as yesterday? Yeah, I have something to tell you. What's that, Willow? Well, there's uh, no easy way of saying this, but it's my uniform. Uniform to what? Well, I'm kind of the ringleader to a gang. A ringleader to a gang? That sounds well cool. <laughs> it is pretty cool. Wait, who is that? Where? Over there, I see someone just sitting by the river. That's... Pony. Come on, quick! We are almost there! Maximus, we have the pain relief for you! Papa? Maximus? Papa! Are you here? He's... Gone. Mateo, you 
Sports. Come see this.